We all have choices that we can make. What we choose to invest our money into creates a big difference. Many families in India have servants, uh, particularly the upper caste and middle class families. So we also had one growing up. And I remember when I was quite young, looking out on our, our little terrace there, it was lunchtime and she was having her lunch, which was a cup of tea and a piece of bread that she was dipping in the tea. And I remember wondering why she wasn't eating like what we ate and sharing our food, which we had quite a lot of. And I was told at the time by my family that they don't eat the same food that we eat. They don't sit with us at the same table that we sit at. I think that that story of our servant certainly planted a seed. And growing up, I kept asking those questions around poverty and injustice. I can understand why people would say, it's all too hard, it's too big of a problem, what can I do? There is always something. We can all start with something small and watch it grow and evolve. Um, we go to a cafe that's um, close to our house that supports and employs people with mental illness. I also try to shop as much as possible with um, recycled clothing or op shops to ensure that I am reusing rather than, um, I guess, creating a market for new clothing. Simply by changing the entity that you bank with can create an impact for the world. I found out about Bank Australia and the way that their uh, business model is structured around ethical investments particularly. Going onto the website helped me to see that it was actually ingrained within the ethos of what Bank Australia did. We have power to make those choices through um, where we put our money and where we invest our money. The ripple effects that you may or may not see in your lifetime are things that can really create a huge impact. I think absolutely where you put your money matters.